Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Groups. So today in this video, we are going to see how to perform an NBO calculation and how to save those NBOs and what are the uses of those uh, NBO amounts. And now we will see all these things in this video. So right now I have taken uh, this molecule over here. You can see this. Okay, so here uh, my interest is I want to find out so in this aromatic system I am having sulfur and nitrogen right so sulfur will be having two lone pairs and nitrogen will be having one lone pair so my concern is whether nitrogen lone pair is delocalizing or in this system or sulfur lone pair is delocalizing which is more which is contributing more to the aromatic system and this uh, delocalization that is my concern so for that I need to perform first of all the geometry optimization followed by frequency calculation so once our calculation is over we will be going for NBO calculation and we will try to save those NBO MOS so in NBO MOS we will look for the uh, orbital occupancies uh, whether this nitrogen lone pair what is the occupancy for that and sulfur lone pair what is the occupancy for that so if the nitrogen lone pair occupancy is lower as compared to sulfur means nitrogen lone pair is uh, contributing more in the aromaticity if it is other way around means sulfur occupancy is lone pair occupancy is lower means that is contributing more in the aromatic system so that should be the uh, values in the output file so now we will see what should be the input file for NBO calculation and how we will analyze that So the molecule that I have shown you for that, uh, this is the input file here. So I'm using cam with this basis set over here. So you need to put pop equals to in bracket NBO7 read. So right now I'm using NBO7. In case if you don't have NBO7, if you are using just the default version of NBO3 in your version, you can simply use NBO. And uh, you need to put the saved NBOs, this uh, keyword, in case if you want to save the, uh, those localized and orbital uh, orbitals. So you need to put this command here. So generally, you can simply put NBO7, comma, save NBOs. It will work. But right now, since I'm, I have uh, given uh, keyword read here, because uh, like whenever I perform an NBO calculation, I prefer to put R, that is the resonance. In that way, the accuracy will be more as compared to the normal calculation and also calculating the binding in the axis. So once your uh, input is ready, so you can put this int equals to superfine or see the reason I'm putting this int equals to superfine and the interior this dispersion correction is because in all of my calculation I am doing for the propagation purpose and for that uh, like I have used for all calculation the dispersion correction and uh, for the SCF converse criterion I have used this integral in super fine format so that's the reason I'm following the same methodology here but if you are just doing for your you know understanding this is not required at all okay simply you can give the functional basis set pop equals to the NBO7 if it is or NBO simply comma followed by NBO MOS fine so once you perform the NBO calculation you will see a log file so you directly go to the end of your log file okay so there will be so many things okay so many things will be there right so there uh, this will be giving you the summary here if you go slightly up come down yeah so there you will see checkpoint and we were sorted by occupancy okay so this is kind of summary of uh, our entire NBO mm, especially for the orbitals okay so what we'll, we are going to see here is so here if you see these are the uh, these are the orbital number MO numbers and our concerns are on the sulfur and nitrogen lone pairs right so first of all uh, we'll see for the sulfur lone pairs so these are the bonding pairs and lone pair so first lone pair appears here for the oxygen and here for the sulfur so this is the orbital mo number 20 this is the occupancy and this is the corresponding energy in atomic unit and this is the 
lone pair of sulfur. So sulfur, I have already told you, sulfur will be having two lone pairs. One lone pair will be a perpendicular to the molecular plane that will be involved in the resonance, and another lone pair will be uh, in the plane of your molecule. Okay. So that uh, in plane uh, orbital of your sulfur uh, will be not contributing to the resonating structure. Those lone pairs will be localized. So here, if you see this occupancy, it is around two. Means these electrons are totally localized. Fine. So this sulfur lone pair, I'm guessing, uh, orbital number twenty is in plane uh, lone pair of sulfur. Okay. Now you go down. You see here orbital number thirty-six. We can note down also these orbitals. Okay. So the, we have seen orbital number twenty. Twenty is for sulfur. Sulfur lone pair one. And 36, the nitrogen lone pair. So here, if you see, the, this is the occupancy of nitrogen lone pair. Since nitrogen will be having only one lone pair, and the occupancy is 1.899, which is uh, not really exactly close to two. Means slightly uh, electrons are delocalized, but not in good amount. Means this nitrogen uh, electrons are delocalized, but not in uh, great extent. We'll see for sulfur as well. So this is the second lone pair of sulfur. If you see the occupancy, it is around 1.649, which is uh, less than very much less than two. Means sulfur lone pair is delocalized more as compared to the nitrogen lone pair in the aromatic system. So from this analysis, we can tell that uh, sulfur is sulfur lone pair is contributing more in the aromatic system, and this is the out of plane lone pair of sulfur. So we'll be looking for orbital number uh, 20, that is the sulfur lone pair one. And orbital number thirty-six, that is the uh, nitrogen lone pair, and orbital number forty-one. So twenty, thirty-six, and forty-one will be looking for in the MOS. Okay. So this is uh, the molecule, and we'll go here. So right now I'm using ChemCraft. If you are having uh, Gauss view, it's okay. The same uh, numbering will be same. There is no problem at all. So we have seen orbital number twenty. Orbital number thirty-six. That was the another one. Uh, okay, don't remember exactly. So this is what is that? So thirty-six, and then you are having forty-one. So that is forty-one. Okay, so that is forty-one here. Now click on OK. So we have imported three uh, orbitals. So these are the localized MO. So whenever we perform the NBO calculation for uh, MOs, so these MOs are the localized MOs. Okay. So this twenty we were expecting uh, in plane lone pair of sulfur. So you can see this is the this is your molecular plane, and that sulfur lone pair is in the same molecular plane. So this lone pair, if you see, this is totally localized. That's the reason. That's the reason it has a good intensity over here, right? If you see. So this is localized lone pair of uh, sulfur, and the orbital number thirty-six that is uh, corresponding to the sulfur uh, lone pair, and it has uh, occupancy around one point eight nine something. So if you see, say this is your nitrogen lone pair. So this is also this is not contributing in the resonance. Why? Because it is in the molecular plane. So generally, this will be in molecular plane, and the pi orbitals will be orthogonal to this, so they cannot interact, right? So that's the reason this nitrogen lone pair is also localized. This is not delocalized at all. Okay. So nitrogen and sulfur that lone pair is localized. While if you see this uh, orbital number forty-one, these are you know here like uh, out of plane. Uh, this is if you see this is your molecular plane. So this is orthogonal to your molecular plane, and the pi orbital of this benzene ring will be also aligned like this. Means that pi orbital will uh, interact with this, and they can, you know, contribute to the more. So this sulfur out of plane uh, means orthogonal to the molecular plane. That lone pair is contributing to the aromatic region, like aromatic uh, aromaticity of this molecule, and that will be giving you the whole stability for the aromaticity in this molecule, not the nitrogen lone pair. So by using this NBO calculation, we can easily predict 
and the uh, contribution of lawn pairs to lawn gardening elements and all. So in the summary, what uh, looks like is you are having this nitrogen lawn pair, which is in the molecular plane. It has an occupancy of 1.89 around, which is close to 2. And the sulfur lawn pair, which is uh, in plane, is contributing 1.98, that is the occupancy. And this sulfur lawn pair, the another lawn pair, which is the orthogonal to this molecular plane, which is contributing around 1.66, means the remaining uh, uh, 34, uh, 0.34 uh, electron will be delocalized. Uh, what the meaning is, this sulfur, this lone pair is delocalized and contributing in the aromaticity of this molecule, not the nitrogen lone pair. So this way, this uh, NBO and most the NBO calculation helps to explain all these uh, peculiarity in the you know, uh, molecular characterization and explaining the stability of uh, any kind of molecules. If you have any doubt pertaining to this uh, video, put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.